going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are back with another video talking about the future and upcoming 1.20 update that as of right now is basically just all news leaks, theories, and rumors on what we previously already know. Now, we actually made a video talking about all of the potential updates and what 1.20 could actually be focusing on a few days ago, so I definitely recommend you guys go check out that video. It covers basically the 1.20 update being the ender update with new biomes, mobs, and basically all of the new changes and features they could add that go along with the end dimension but in today's video I actually wanted to go through the comments of that video because you guys left some awesome feedback and basically just share some of the comments that you guys left with your theories and ideas on what the 1.20 update would be just to get a little bit more discussion going and open up the possibilities of what this update could entail which like I said all of this is early rumors and speculation nothing is hundred percent confirmed and the 1.19 update isn't even officially out yet I just love talking about updates and trying to figure out what they're gonna do early and get your guys' ideas so the first comment is coming from Sean M who said this is just what I want to see in the 1.20 if it's going to be an update to the end they definitely need to be re revamped and updated but as far as the end dimension itself the ender sense snarling blastling and watchling from the Minecraft dungeons echoing void and DLC need to be in that update maybe mobs like ender zombies ender skeletons endermen spiders and ender slimes could be in the end update maybe the vengeful heart of ender could also be a new boss but it's very unlikely I thought this was a pretty cool comment because I am someone that has not played or basically seen anything on Minecraft dungeons but I do know that they recently just got the echoing void and DLC which basically revamped the end which is why I think that the end does have a chance of being updated in the Minecraft Java and Bedrock version for 1.20. So he's basically saying that there could be new mobs from the Echoing Void and DLC in Minecraft Dungeons, which is the Endersense Snarling Blastling and Watchling, which I have no idea what those are, but for those of you guys that do play Minecraft Dungeons, you might know. And there could also be new Ender versions of the normal mobs in the overworld for zombies, skeletons, spiders, and slimes, which I think would be pretty cool. An Enderman themed slime that's like black and purple, I think that'd be pretty awesome the next comment is coming from Leonard who said awesome video I think for the 1.20 update they'll do something with the deep dark portals but we'll see both options would be really cool and honestly I think this is a very big possibility as well I think there is a lot more room for what they're adding in the 1.19 update with the new ancient deep dark cities and deep dark portals I think they could definitely expand on that update and make 1.20 uh, basically like an expansion and uh, an additive for that update with all the new features that it's going to be bringing, which I definitely think is a possibility and I like that idea. Storm Phoenix also commented saying, I hope at some point we'll get a new dimension in bosses, maybe something like a Phoenix boss in the nether or a Leviathan in the water. And I think this is actually pretty cool. I'm not really sure if, if Minecraft and Mojang is, is planning on adding an entire new dimension because some of the ones in game definitely need some love before they add new ones but in terms of them adding new bosses I definitely think that that's a possibility since there really is only a few true bosses in Minecraft and the only one that's actually themed and geared towards a whole dimension is the ender dragon obviously we have the wither boss that you can spawn in over in the overworld I mean I guess you can consider the brutes and the strongholds a boss but it's definitely nowhere near the level of the ender dragon and the wither so a phoenix boss or something to do with fire in the nether would also honestly be really cool and then in terms of a leviathan in the water I also think that'd be cool as well even though we technically already have the elder guardian bosses in the water temples there's definitely room for them to add more now I thought this comment from drowned wick was also pretty interesting he commented saying I really like that I idea of having an end update the whole dimension is super boring but with some mods it becomes a really beautiful place if 1.20 wasn't going to be the end update I would have a war update where it would add spears more armor more mobs like Indians or pirates and make more illager structures and have more dungeons in the world so I know what he's going with this obviously there wouldn't actually be like obviously there wouldn't be Native Americans or pirates necessarily but in terms of it being more focused on like the war and PvP aspect I think that would definitely be cool the only issue with this is it's kind of hard for them to really expand on the armor without adding a ton of brand new features since Minecraft is a very simplistic game there's only four pieces of armor I really don't know what else they could add with this other than making maybe different versions of the shield with different abilities which I think would be pretty cool and in terms of them adding new weapons spears would be cool but we basically already have a spear in in the game um, which is the trident so I don't really know what they could do with this but if they did go this route and definitely add some more hostile mobs that are 
themed towards some of the smaller microbiomes in game I think that would be pretty cool and I thought this was a pretty decent idea now fields family left a pretty big comment here talking about a pretty cool concept and idea that we have talked and featured about here on the channel in the past he commented saying, I think that 1.20 will be archaeology, definitely not how you spell it by the way, but I, I know what you're trying to say, adding glares and copper golems as mobs, but when the end update comes I want a tree that has rocks and pebbles as leaves and makes up a biome made of tiny bits of end stone and the trees have extremely hard roots. You get around on the stony roots or the pebbly treetops, the end shouldn't be dangerous because of the mobs but should be dangerous because of the void so this mob climbs around the biome and tries to knock you around and tries to knock you around it will be bred with rare pebbles that are found growing off the stony trees that can be thrown to stick that block for 8 seconds like a grappling hook but can only be used once and can stack to 24. So I thought this was a pretty interesting idea so he's talking about the idea of there being an ender update and them adding some new biomes with like custom trees in the end that are made out of stone which I think would be pretty cool imagine like an end stone type tree that has a way different design than all the other trees we see in the overworld in Minecraft I think that'd be pretty cool and then he talks about a mob that isn't that isn't necessarily hostile like it doesn't directly do damage to you but instead it lives in this new tree biome that and it basically and the whole point of this mob is to try to knock you into the void. I think that'd be pretty crazy. The end is already a pretty scary place, and uh, a lot of people fall in the void without having mobs push them in. So having this added to the game would definitely make it a lot scarier. But I think that's a pretty cool idea. Now the next comment's coming from WolfXW, who said, I don't think they will make the end update in 1.20 but I think they will upgrade the desert. And I, and I actually think this is a pretty reasonable idea as well. I think the desert has not gotten a lot of love in a very long time here in Minecraft. And besides finding desert temples, which pretty much always have the same type of loot of them, and the desert villages, there's really not much more the desert has to offer. Maybe adding some more naturally generated terrain and, and builds in there, maybe something, maybe different versions of the desert temple, or maybe there's like pyramids or something that have better loot in them, but they're also rare and harder to find. Something of that sort would be pretty cool. Obviously, he didn't elaborate, but I think the desert does have a chance to definitely be one of the next areas of Minecraft that gets updated. Jinnah Muhammad commented, please tell me what is coming in the 1.20 aquatic or the end. And honestly, we don't know, man. Mojang can throw a curveball and update something completely different. Or, instead of updating something that's already in the game, they can just add something completely new, which, like I said, none of us would know what that is. All of this is early speculation, like stated in both videos, so uh, we don't know, because nothing is confirmed. I'm just including this in the video because I thought it was pretty funny, but JXKC commented, Stop with your clickbaits. None of this has been confirmed, and I think it's funny because literally in the title of the video, we literally put in the title of that video that a lot of this is just theories and speculation, and I literally start the video off by saying that none of this information is confirmed. I want to make it clear with you guys that we have no idea what the 1.20 update is going to be focusing on. We don't even know when this update is going to be coming out, how long it's going to take them to finalize the 1.19 update. A lot of this is just fun early speculation on trying to get theories on what we could be seeing in the 1.20 update. But um, yeah, I, I mean, I thought that comment was pretty funny. I, I don't know if this guy just didn't listen to what I said, but uh, I wanted to include it in the video. But that is basically it. Those are all of the comments and pretty decent feedback that we got on that video talking about the original 1.20 theory, speculation, and news and leaks on the 1.20 updates. Like I said, I always love seeing your guys' feedback, so if you guys have any theories or thoughts on what the 1.20 update is going to be focusing on, let me know down in the comments below. I want you guys to get in depth if you have some really cool ideas for biomes or things that could be added to the game. Definitely leave it down below. I kind of want to make it a thread of just really awesome ideas so we could read through it and uh, basically just open up the doors for what potentially could be coming in the next Minecraft update. That's all we got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.